This book is on my to-be-read list now. It's not the first book that I have added by this author to my to-be-read list, but is it my fault that her book covers are so damn fire and the titles are like really appealing to me like that? I don't feel like it is. So you guys can go ahead and blame Tony LaRue. This book right here is titled No Kissing. It's an urban thriller. All right, it's 163 pages. The book summary says one is lonely. Every husband dreams of the perfect wife and career. Langston Pennington has both. His career as an author provides him with fame and fortune, but that isn't enough. Is it ever enough for men? Not really. Langston has a sweet tooth for other women. See, I told y'all. Listen, he manages to keep his cravings under control until he meets Leila Alexander. She is young and beautiful, and Langston quickly realizes that his hunger for her is turning into obsession. He better not hurt her. Two is company. Every wife dreams of the perfect marriage. Josephine Pennington works hard to maintain a perfect image in the public eye. She is aware of her husband's unfaithful ways, but as long as his playboy antics stay behind closed doors, Josephine is content playing the naive wife. But when a young beauty enters the picture, Josephine is aware that this time might be different. Langston is careless with Leela and Josephine will do anything to make sure Leela doesn't ruin her picture perfect marriage. Yes, girl. Whoop her ass over your husband. Three is a crowd. Every girl dreams to find a man that will sweep her off her feet. Leela Alexander, a struggling student, isn't rich or successful. She finds that her luck has changed when she meets her favorite author, Langston Pennington. He is handsome and rich. To Leela, Langston is her meal ticket, but things get complicated when she finds herself in love with him. What started as a come up plan quickly turns into a passionate romance, ready to put her original plan to the side. Leela confronts Langston about the obvious obstacle in their relationship, his wife. This book came out February 4th of 2017. It's 163 pages. Listen here, if little homegirl um, Leela tries to sit here and like, why do y'all do that? Like, why, why do y'all sit here and honestly think, like, when y'all get with these married men and y'all really be thinking that he's going to, like, leave his wife for you, why y'all do that shit? Like, why do y'all do that? Like, best case scenario, he leaves his wife, right? And then you become the next dummy. Like, you realize that the way you get a man, that's, that's probably how you're going to lose him, too. If you were the side chick when you got him, you really think he's going to be faithful to you? Girl. If the plan was to come up, I hope you hump your ass off until you come up and you get what you were supposed to get up out of this man. Because what the hell? He's not leaving his wife. And you think his wife is going to go down without a fight? Langston, if you leave your wife over your students, over, over a girl that was sitting here fiending for you because you were her favorite author, I'm not going to lie. I got a couple authors where I really rock with them. So like, if I met them in person... I would be excited, but I don't know if I have a favorite author where like I would really be trying to jump their bones and like, I don't know. Hmm. I bet you Langston is handsome. If he look anything like the man on the book cover, I bet you he's handsome. Y'all, this book is on my TBR list. I wasn't even supposed to go on a whole rant about this book, but the cover is what drew me in. This author done did it again. I haven't started reading the book yet, but it is available at Kindle Unlimited. You guys know I'm a Kindle Unlimited hoochie. I'm going to get me a a shirt that says that, like, Kindle Unlimited Hoochie, and I'm going to get French Alls Brooks on the back. Just so y'all know, like, when it comes to books that are on Kindle Unlimited, I'm going to read it. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next book video. Bye.